welcome to Two Real Chicks. I'm Carla. I'm Cindy. And we're so happy to have you with us today. And we are creating a gorgeous, glam, bold, beyond out there, smoky eye using green eyeshadow. Yes, this is a perfect night out on the town, girls night out, date night, glam. Anytime you want some bing, bang, boom, this is it. It starts right now. Compare this eye to this eye. Yep, quite a difference. We're going to make this one look like this one. And all of the eyeshadows that we're using, all drugstore or affordable. Everything is either NYX or ColourPop. I love this palette and it's actually called I Think I Love You. It's the ColourPop I Think I Love You palette. Any neutral light brown will work for you. You do not have to have this palette to make this work. So if you have the Kat Von D palette, just pick the neutral one. Any neutral light brown. I'm going to use a fluffy brush. I'm going to swirl that in there. And we are going to start, for me, because I have hooded, deep set, droopy eyes, I'm going to come up here right almost up to the brow bone because I'm going to create a crease, but you're going to go either where you need to create your crease if you have hooded eyes or wherever your natural crease is if you don't have hooded eyes. And we are going to just swoosh this back and forth and we are taking it all the way in to the eye socket here. So just back and forth, back and forth. And I'm actually swooping it out almost like an S on the end. Can you see that? How I'm kind of making a little, almost a little tail. And I'm doing that because of all the eye looks that I've ever done, this one needs a transition color the most because we're using very dark, very bold eyeshadows. And if you don't have a transition shade, it is going to just stop and you will have this incredible demarcation. What we want is easy blending. It will either not blend out at all if you don't use a transition shade or it will blend away. And we don't want that. After all your hard work, you don't want it to blend away. So we're using this as our transition shade and I'm laying down a good amount of it. And I'm just going back and forth, taking my time and just pulling it up when I get to the outer part of my eye. Okay, that part's done. Now with a smaller tapered brush, similar shape to this one, they both are kind of a fluffy crease brush, but notice this one is more tapered and smaller. I'm gonna take this beautiful forest green from NYX. I will put a link to it and the exact name of it down below. It is a gorgeous forest green. I'm just going to tap this in here and I am indeed going to tap off the excess because if you do that, at least with these NYX shadows, you won't have any fallout. Now, I've got my brown up here as the transition color. I'm coming right underneath it, right at the bottom of it and very lightly and slowly blending this color in and building it up. So instead of going in with one big loaded brush and putting in a whole lot at once, I'm just going to go in with layers and build it up until I get it to the intensity that I want. And that's a nice thing about this look. If you don't want it super strong, you don't have to. Or if you want it way bolder than not mine is, you can do that. So we're just going to build it up. Not coming onto the lid. And again, as we get to the edge of the eye, we're pulling it up in almost like a hook. Just kind of swoop it like a tail. By pulling it on the edge, that also takes away our need for dramatic black eyeliner, which makes this a great look for hooded eyes. I'm gonna take this brush again and just blend it a little bit because I went in a little bit heavier than I meant to. So I'm gonna blend it. Going back in with my forest green shade. Again, I'll put all the names and links down in the description box. Now, I'm just gonna start here on the edge. I'm just gonna start pulling that up and meeting that up with the hook that we created.
take your time, nice, easy, gentle strokes. This is not hard, but you just need to take your time. If you're in a big rush, I don't recommend this look because I would get incredibly frustrated if I was trying to rush this. So we're not gonna rush it. But this is great for a night out with your honey, any special occasion. Heck, baby, you bing, bang, blam all you want to. You can bing, bang, blam at the supermarket if you want to. Why not? Now taking more of a shader brush, I'm taking this beautiful metallic green. It's more of a mid-tone green, and I'm gonna take that, and I am gonna load this up pretty well. I am gonna tap it off, and now, from about halfway on the lid to the outer part of the eye, I'm gonna lay this down. They do look very similar, but I promise you they're different colors. This one is not nearly as dark as the other one, and this one has some shimmer to it. Not glitter, but just a sheen. And it makes for a really nice gradient once we get all of the colors together. Just packing that in, laying it down. Oh, look at that pretty silver. Is that pretty or is that pretty? I am going to load up a shader brush. And if you really wanted to intensify this, get your brush wet. And this will just make it kapow. But I chose not to do that. Loading it up, tapping it off, but there's not a lot of excess with the silver metallic. And now I'm going all the way into the inner corners and pulling it in. Also, dabbing the inner corners of my eyes right there at the tear ducts. And that is going to open those eyes, widen them, brighten them, especially if you have hooded eyes. That's a great tip. And if you're doing this for a special occasion, a little bit of glitz and glam is always fun. So I am just going to lay this down and bring it and meet it with that other shadow. Can you see it starting to come together now? It looks really funny when you're doing one piece at a time and then all of a sudden you go, oh, going back in with this same shimmery green, the same brush, not using as much this time. I'm gonna come back in and start to feather it into the silver. That's how we're gonna get that beautiful gradient look so that there are no harsh lines. We're feathering the two together. And that's the point of using the metallic green so that the metallic green meets the metallic silver and you have that nice blend. So just feather it in. Now going back with the brush that I have the silver on, I'm gonna feather the silver out. We are coming down to the home stretch on the eyes. Going in with this black eyeshadow from the same ColourPop I Think I Love You palette. Again, any matte black eyeshadow is going to be just fine. I am just going to tip this pencil brush into that. Just tip it. Knock it off. And I'm going to start down here on the lash line. And I'm just going to drag it. And I'm going to pull it up. This does not take precision, but it does take patience. So I am just pulling it along the lash line, and now I'm pulling it up, almost like a wing. So we're creating the illusion of a wing without actually using really harsh, dark black eyeliner. So now I'm going to start to hook it all together, that outer V that you hear so much about. So I'm coming down to where I had it on the lash line and hooking it on that outer V. I also blend this as I go along by pulling it up by using the side of the brush. So you use the tip of the brush to place it and the side of the brush to blend it together. Pulling it up. By pulling it up also, this is especially great for hooded eyes, you're lifting those eyes. Now what I'm doing is not a blending motion, but a padding motion. And you'll see that this black doesn't look black at all. Instead, it just looks like a really dark emerald green because it's blending into that green. So now I'm just padding. 
in almost a horseshoe shape, a U shape, emphasis on that outer V. Okay, eyeshadow on our eyelids is done. I am going to take my beloved NYX Jumbo Stick in Milk and I am going to line my waterline down here on the bottom. I sharpened it. Amazing what happens when you sharpen your pencil and how much less mess it makes. So I'm going to run that on the inner waterline. This is really going to make your eyes pop look wide awake and it's especially great for hooded eyes, droopy eyes, and those of us with aging eyes. Going back in with my pencil brush, I'm going to go back with my black shadow. Again, just tapping it. I'm tapping off the excess. And I am going to run that down on the lower lash line. Very lightly. Pick up a little bit more as you need it, if you need it. So I'm just building up the lower lash line, the black on the lower lash line as I need to. Run it about three quarters of the way. And I'm also going to take the deep dark green and I'm going to go in with that and do the same thing on top of it. So I'm layering it so that you get both the smoke effect from the black, but you're getting that green color too. And go ahead while you're there with the two colors mixed together and connect your ends. This is especially important for those of us with droopy eyes because that can often skip because the skin droops. And so if you're not careful, there'll be a skip there. So pulling your eyes way up and just connect the dots, connect the lines. Now I'm going in with my current favorite obsession of a mascara. It is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise and it is just that, Lash Paradise. Everything you hear about it is 100% correct and I love it not only because it gives my tiny little barely there, almost non-existent lashes some actual length and volume, but it also doesn't bother my sensitive eyes. So that is a real bonus. So we're just going to apply a good coat of that. If you have decent lashes, you may not need false lashes. But because we are doing a special occasion party glam look here, I'm going in with some lashes. But I'm using magnetic lashes. And because I'm using magnetic lashes, I have found that they stick better if they have some mascara to grip to. I also find that a, a trick with this mascara is to start at the base of your lashes and then pull that wand all the way up slowly until you get to the very, very end of the lash, almost as if you're going to touch your brow bone and just pull it straight up. Getting a good coating, get my bottom lashes, make the obligatory face, because you know we as women just have to make that face when we apply our mascara. I think it's in Makeup 101 handbooks that they pass out to young girls in school. Now I'm going in with magnetic eyelashes. I am obsessed with the magnetic eyelashes. I love them. They are so easy for me to use. Now, we will link above and below the first impression video that Cindy and I did of these. It was interesting getting used to them, but after that first try, and that, don't, that first try only took it for a few minutes, but after that first try, bing, bang, boom, we have both fallen in love with them and they literally do apply in seconds. No glue. The trick is to make sure that you have the right lashes on the right eye and that you have the magnets facing the right direction. And there you go. Now I'm going to take both lashes and push them up because pushing them up opens the eyes even more. Look at that. Now I'm going to go in with one more thing. Going in with this frosty shade here, it's almost a silver, and I'm going to take that and put it in the center of the brow bone so that we lift that hooded eye even more, and there you go. 
Now, when it came to the lips, I wasn't sure what to do. Should I go with a bold, bright berry or a subtle nude? So I kind of compromised and chose something that's a little bit of a combination of both. This is a beautiful frosted dusty pink from Rimmel. I'll link the name below in the description box. And I'm gonna pop that on. Notice I didn't use any lip liner. The reason for that is because I don't want any harsh lines because we've got a lot of very distinct lines going on here. I also went very light on the blush and the contour and the highlighter. And I'm also gonna take a little trick that I learned from Pixie Woo from the Chapman Girls and I'm going to cap along the lip line. Not smudging it, just softening it just a little bit so that it gives you a little bit more of a youthful look and also a nice soft look. And because we're going for a party look, I'm going to add some gloss. Now this is not necessarily a perfect pairing of gloss. This just happens to be the gloss that I have with me right now. But you could find a beautiful matching or clear shade and just put a little bit of gloss. You can take it all the way or you can just put it in the center for a pout. But I just feel like this needs a little bit of a glossy look to it. And there you have it. Here is your special occasion, girls night out, date night, night out on the town, party glam, smoky green eye. I hope you like it. Ta-da! Beautiful. You did a gorgeous job. And you know what? I might even try that. I don't think I might even try that. I do really like the way that this turned out. It is a perfect blend of smokiness, bold, shimmer, and yet it's still age appropriate for those of us over 40, and if we're honest, over 50 and over 60. We hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, and if you love looks like this, and if you wanna see more makeup tutorials, please do us a favor, give us a big old thumbs up, because a thumbs up and a comment means more than you think. We are asking you to join with us and other mature ladies in the YouTube beauty community to say, hey YouTube, we matter as mature women. You as a mature woman watching this video right now, you matter. Give it a thumbs up to send a message to YouTube that the mature beauty community on this platform, we matter. So join with us, band with us and other mature YouTubers and saying, hey, we're over here and we count. Yeah. Click that subscribe button if you were not already subscribed. And honestly, how could you not be? And next to that subscribe button is a bell. If you will click that bell, you will get notified each time we upload a new video. And you don't know what we're going to come up with next. And do you really want to miss one? Because we sure don't want to miss you. No. We appreciate you so much. And we do indeed enjoy spending time with you. And we thank you so much for keeping us company today. We're Two Real Chicks. I'm Carla. I'm Cindy. And until next time, we Bye. love you. Bye.